guys, I got some pretty bad news. I got bad news and worse news. I was doing about 45 miles an hour and I hit a coyote, killed him. Low sided and then high sided, slung me into a barbed wire fence that wrapped around my neck. I'll show you guys some pictures of that in a second. And then the bike landed on my head. <laughs> the bike is pretty messed up. It's definitely totaled. Anyway, I lost a couple, like a few thousand bucks worth of jewelry, all kinds of stuff. So I'm driving back to the old crash scene right now to see what I can find. I broke three ribs and one of those ribs punctured one of my lungs. That hurts. <laughs> so pretty busted up right now. That accident was only a week ago. So yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stand out here and dig around and look for my property, but I'm on my way to a hospital visit. So I figured I might as well try. All right, well, I'm on my way. Let's see what we can find. I got a metal detector in the car, but I'm hoping I can find him without it. I'll give you guys a rundown of the accident. So I hit the coyote about right here. This is in the middle of an apex of a turn. And right here is where I, I had the bike upright and I was going right along this little path you see here. I was trying to get the bike back up on the road. Probably slowed it down to about 35 at this point. And uh, right here where this big hole is, that's where I actually laid it down on the left side. And then the bike kind of flipped over and slung me into this barbed wire fence right here. So I got some stuff here. So I'm gonna pick up all my trash from my accident. And uh, do some digging around, see if I could find my jewelry. I guess I'll get to work. Tools of the trade. <laughs> All right, let's get in it. That's how you take the turn without hitting a coyote. <laughs> so off. So I'm trying to thin out all these weeds so I can get a better view of the ground. And uh, once I get rid of all this dead stuff, I'll go through with my hands and do a more thorough search. <laughs> Would you look at that, guys? Holy shit, I found one. <laughs> Man, I am so happy right now. Oh, these rings mean so much to me. These are rings I've got through my travels just throughout the years all across the United States. So to give you guys an idea of what I'm doing, I'm going from fence post to fence post, down four feet. I've been coming across here and I made it about 20 feet so far. That first ring, hopefully the other rings are around it. You know what I mean? If logic stands to reason, hopefully everything's in the same area. So this is where I found that ring. And by the way, I'm doing this with three broken ribs and a punctured lung. And yes, it does hurt really bad. Oh, it hurts bad. Oh, I just can't quit. I got to find these rings, man. They're so important to me. Well, I'm going to shut this off. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated if I find anything. I'm at the doctor's office and I'm getting x-rays done on my knees. Watch how much shorter this leg is at the act. I'm an inch and a half shorter on my right side than on my left side. I wonder I walk so goofy. <laughs> I just left my doctor's office and Turns out that the crash motorcycle is not the worst news of this video. I have scoliosis. Uh, I don't really know what that means, except for my spine is all twisted and bent. 
I uh, took a picture of the screen. My X-ray, my spine looks pretty jacked up. If you guys have any experience or knowledge about this, maybe you guys should let me know how bad it looks to you. I'll put the pictures up right now. Two years ago, I was in a bad motorcycle accident and I had nine surgeries on my leg. I was amputated twice, I'm permanently disabled. I guess uh, now I'm double disabled. <laughs> I don't know if that, do I get two checks now? Does that work out? So yeah, it's kind of a bummer, man. It's strange feeling like your body's giving up on you, you know? Well, I guess that's the end of the video. I know it's not upbeat and traveling around like we usually do, but the goal of this channel is to be honest, not to create some fake happy universe. So, welcome to my honesty, guys. See ya.